welcome to the vlog. Thanks for all the support, subscribing, sharing. Um, so much good input uh, from all of you. And um, yeah, don't know where we're, I'm heading tomorrow, but it's probably going to be high. We did a tempo run this morning with Dewa, and I did 20 hours of trail work in high heat past week. I was happy to punt. Oh, something's, something's good. I was happy to punch that clock and get the workout done. So, um, yeah, follow me on Strava for all my exact workouts. That's the best way to get some really solid uh, training counsel for free. So, uh, yeah, let's see where this baby goes. Uh, enjoy your evening. Enjoy your weekend. Or I hope you enjoyed your weekend. Thanks for being here. Really appreciate you. Love you. Nama. Welcome, Noble Sangha, to Columbus Basin. Um, over my right shoulder is the intersection. That goes to Kennebec Pass, and this road goes to where we're going to be running today, uh, Columbus Basin, still part of the Kennebec Race Course. We're going to try to go for Snowstorm Peak um, and check out the north ridge of Lewis Peak, which we did on uh, last week and uh well we tried to do it uh, it's windy it's smoky when i grew up here i never remembered any smoke hazy like this it's just a sign of the the times and it's weird to think that you know if everybody did holistic fitness and did the four lifestyle principles we wouldn't have global warming because everybody would be practicing appropriate action do you know what i mean a couple of interesting things today uh, I'm going to take the Skechers Max Road 5, which is a road shoe. There's the outsole. And I'm going to try to climb this mountain with them. I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to try. I love them because they're so light and they're cushy and they make me happy when I run. Also, who knew? New Balance. I know they make running shoes, great running shoes. Didn't know they make trekking poles. So, uh, I'm going to break those bad babies out. Twenty-three minutes and I just busted through Timberline and uh, you can kind of see our course here hold on let me flip as you can see pretty waterfall and then that waterfall falls right below on uh, this subsidiary ridge and then we cut up you can tell the max road fives it's definitely a road shoe on this crazy rocky stuff the toe box is too soft um, that's one of the big things about trail shoes so it makes them heavier is you have to have more material on the outer uh, to protect against rocks and just stiffen the upper a bit this doesn't have that this shoe doesn't have that but boy it's nice and light and bouncy the new balance trekking poles a little heavy uh, the handles kind of overkill they could trim some of that material, lighten it up a bit. New Balance, if you're listening. Uh, but otherwise, very solid. And uh, all right, back to grinding.
Okay, the wind, I, I came out of the shelter of this rock because on the flip side, it's a monster roar of a wind. It has been unrelenting since the notch uh, above the waterfall. Right over these columbines, uh, yeah, it's just like a huge wind thing coming. at the saddle at the pass in between Snowstorm Peak and Lewis Peak over my shoulder. <clears throat> that is supposed to be a Junction Creek drainage. My childhood drainage. And you can't even see anything. Those are, those mountains are not the Smoky Mountains. They're the Rocky Mountains, but they are full of smoke. Right, that ridge line was way too windy. So strike Two, second Saturday, thwarted from summits. What I'm gonna do instead, let me show you. I'm gonna continue down the burrow trail. We call it the goat trail. Um, I'm gonna sneak around that shoulder and I'm gonna go down to the keyhole on Kennevik Pass. So I'm gonna make a loop out of this.
just like that we're back at river pet on i know i go on and on about this shoe sketcher max road five like a six millimeter drop 8.3 ounces a nitrogen infused hyperburst technology in that midsole and something about that is just I, I liked it in the speed trail and I like I love it in this shoe a very lively reactive shoe also what really helped today up on the trails even though this is a road shoe remember I took it on that relatively um, exciting goat trail up there this shoe is not designed for that type of terrain and yet it did fantastic here's what helped inside here is a carbon H frame I think they call it so there's a plate, a small plate of, of carbon in here that's shaped like H, I do believe, somewhere through here. And then Goodyear outer rubber, outer sole pad, pods. Like a pop in a shoe, this baby is fantastic. This is definitely my favorite shoe of 2021. 20,